what's up, Hillsong, New York, and especially my City Hope friends and uh, other friends in the world. How you doing? Uh, Saturday night. No, I am not going to record these every other day. However, I did want to share with you, we had a great night of worship down at Harvest Bible Chapel Spring Lake. That's my home church for five weeks, and uh, they're being so gracious to me, so generous, and uh, just a great church. They have great preaching, awesome worship. Um, it's a reformed church. They worship like charismatics. Everybody's got their hands in the air. They just don't care. Um, just finished up the series on uh, First Peter. You got to hear David Wissan again tonight. He's one of my favorite pastors in the entire United States. Um, I was chatting with his uh, son Cal afterwards. Cal's now the senior pastor. Cal attended uh, uh, Invitation to Fellowship this week. Uh, or, uh, actually, I think next week. This week, uh, I think they're yeah, busy. And then I was also talking with the uh, senior worship pastor, uh, Chris Muller, who is a great guy. And uh, we had got into some really good conversations. And of course, when everyone finds out that, the, that I'm from Hillsong, the first thing they ask me, these pastors, they say, do you know Pinocchio? <laughs> yeah. So we've all agreed that uh, Nathan, along with his brother in Pennsylvania, I think his name's Paul, they're uh, two of the funniest uh, pastors around. And uh, anyways, just a quick update on where things are. My brother's out. Uh, he's a long haul trucker. He's out on the West Coast for 10 days. Uh, my sisters, who I think are doing real good, um, I'm getting together with them a week from tomorrow for a birthday celebration, and, the, and actually the following week, uh, we're getting together for Father's Day, everybody's coming up to the Littlestone Cottage, uh, gonna do some barbecuing, and uh, Chloe will be up, so she'll get a chance to hang out with her cousin, so looking forward to that. This week, my cousin Brian and his wife Amy are coming for dinner on Thursday, please lift them up in prayer. Um, I don't think they are saved and listen if you follow me on Facebook you know I'm on fire for Jesus and if you're coming to dinner with me and you're not saved you're seeking you're gonna hear the gospel so we're uh, uh, praying about that expectant and um, just praising God for um, just all the good things that are going on right now um, obviously up at the little stone cottage by myself in solitude um, you know, it's a great opportunity for um, just having some really good uh, devotions right now and uh, just worshiping God. And um, we're not meant to be alone, but uh, I think sometimes it's good to withdraw and uh, recharge if you have the opportunity to do so. And I'm just so grateful um, that God's provided this opportunity and that He's blessing it. And, um, you know, I, I just am expectant that, uh, you know, if God is preparing me in this way, then, um, then he must want to continue to use me. And uh, we're grateful for that. I'm a, I'm a broken vessel, and, uh, and our God uses broken vessels. So anyways, you guys have a great day in the Lord tomorrow. Have a great time. Uh, serving the Lord, fellowshipping, praising God. Worshiping Jesus and lifting high his name. And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in four weeks. I miss you and I love you, and we'll see you then. All right, bye.